Okay, critical analysis, here is going to be your third mastery skills assessment video. I've already uploaded the one on inferences and fact and opinions. I am going to go ahead and now go over patterns of organization since this is chapter seven's concept and this week's videos, uh, week 10, are based on this concept. So I figured I'd just go ahead and do this since this is the next logical step. I'm going to do post-test one. I like the very first post-test because they kind of go over the concepts first and then let you practice it a little bit as well. So when I get into my post-test one, it's going to go over some of the basics. Question one, which of the following is not a useful way to determine the pattern of organization? So remember, patterns of organization are those ways authors can organize their writing so it makes it easier for their reader to understand. There were 10 patterns we talked about cause and effect, definition, classification, whole bunch of them. So it is helpful to know the topic and main idea. It is helpful to know the purpose, and it is helpful definitely to know those phrases. It doesn't necessarily benefit us for this skill to know the difference between fact and opinion. I mean, it's always beneficial to know that, but in terms of being able to verify what pattern is being used, because an author can use compare contrast for facts and opinions. So it doesn't really matter. Those other three things can help you determine patterns. Question two, which of the following is not a commonly used pattern of organization? Hopefully three of these look familiar. Chronological order is also known as time order. So that's why maybe if at first you're like, wait a minute. So chronological order is also known as time order. So those first three are patterns. This is a type of writing, so that is not one of our patterns, a persuasive essay. Question three, authors use the classification organizational pattern to do what? Well, compare ideas is compare contrast. Illustrate is examples. Highlight their ideas is not necessarily a specific pattern, but classification does, in fact, put things into categories. Question four, which of the following patterns of organization present a term and use examples to help the reader understand the meaning of the term? Hopefully you can pick up on that pretty easily, the meaning of a term, definition. Question five, which of the following patterns of organization focus on the sequence of events that occur over time? Again, here comes our time, otherwise known as chronological order. Question six, understanding the different parts of patterns of organization is useful because, well, we're not talking about thesis statements right now or verbal skills, but it certainly helps. I didn't really mean to highlight two of them. It certainly helps with comprehension, helps with our comprehension of that material. Okay, question seven. Here we have uh, a paragraph. It's the same paragraph used for question seven and eight. The first training for practical nurses was at the Young Women's Christian Association in New York City in 1892. The following year, this became the Ballard School. The program of study was three months long, and the participants studied several techniques for caring for the sick, as well as a variety of homemaking techniques. Much of the care during this time was done in the client's home, making the licensed practical nurse a home health or visiting nurse. Eleven years later, a second school, the Thompson Practical Nursing School, was established. In 1914, the state legislator in Mississippi passed the first laws governing the practice of practical nurses. Other states were slow to follow. By 1940, only six states had passed such laws. In 1955, the state board test pool of the NLN Education Committee established the procedures for testing graduates of approved practical vocational education programs in all states. All right. So to me, I'm not seeing definitions. Um, yeah, they kind of tell you like, okay, this is what an LPN is, um, but there's not tons of definitions in here. So when you're asked this kind of question, you're looking to see what has the most support, the most support here. Uh, I don't see comparing and contrasting because they're simply just kind of talking you, talking you through um, how these different programs and the, the nursing licensures occurred. What I am seeing is some chronological order some time order. Look at this, 1914, 1940, 1892, 1950. There's a lot of dates in there, three months. That is chronological order. That is time order. All right, so knowing that it's time order, same paragraph, which of the following can help determine the pattern organization in the above passage? Well, we look and see there's a sequence of events. It tells us when something is occurring, the sequence of events. So I would hit save and submit. 
And that, my friends, is your post-test one for patterns of organization. I hope these have been helpful for you in kind of moving forward with your mastery skills. Be on the lookout for future videos. Bye.